like many of you, I too wish to be employed someday, and one screening measure I've seen employers use is the programming quiz that's supposed to test how smart you are. Could OpenAI's GPT-3 model ace this quiz? We've seen it give very interesting results in the AI-powered Linux shell that I made, so let's try it out on this. I have here an online programming test made by the popular hiring startup QuadrupleBit. I also have a little Python program where I can paste the questions, and it'll ask OpenAI's API for the answer. So, let's get started. Okay, adding a new record to the database. This one should be easy. Yep. All right, from the missing line of code. Let's see. Huh. That doesn't seem, uh, well, whatever. Which of the following programming languages is not memory safe? Okay. This should be pretty straightforward. Which of the following protocols is used for sending mail? Straightforward one. Uh, yep. Okay, that wasn't too hard. Parse with a regular expression. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> that reasoning does not work. Sorry. Okay, a database question. <laughs> All right. Uh, Python, Python pointers question, I guess. By the way, I'm asking GPT-3 to generate a reason before generating an answer to help it think through multiple steps. It's a technique multiple people have suggested, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to help much with these questions. Okay, static analysis. <laughs> That's rather weak reasoning, I would say. Okay, testing a function. Hopefully it gets this one at least. Huh? Okay. No execute bit. Hey, it got one. I have a feeling we're not going to get a call back from a recruiter, but I was curious why GPT didn't do better. I actually reran this quiz several times using different prompt formats, and the highest score I got was 6 out of 10. And there was a lot of randomness to it because the order of the answers affected GPT-3's response. Let me show you one question that I had a lot of trouble with. In the OpenAI Playground, we can turn on Show Probabilities. This means for every word, it shows you how likely GPT was to suggest the next word, and it shows what the alternatives were. As you can see, it wanted to begin the reason with either JavaScript or C and the probabilities are so close that it actually changes depending on the order of the answers. So, one takeaway for you should be that the format of the question greatly affects how well GPT-3 works. Multiple choice questions just don't seem to be a very good fit. If you haven't already seen it, check out the video of my AI-powered Linux show, or check out my other AI-related videos. Thanks for watching.